today where I live. It's very, it's snowing and we've gotten a lot of snow. This is just within the last two hours, but we are going to bundle up and we are going to head out to the Dollar Tree and I will see you when we get there. Alright guys, so the first thing that you see when you walk into the Dollar Tree is all of their Christmas stuff and their gift bags and gift boxes. I've seen this really pretty tissue paper. I really love the gold. Usually I'm not a huge fan of gold, but for some reason this year I'm really liking it. These were really, really cute gift tags. I love the white and blue and silver. There was Santa with his sleigh and then we had some snowmen. Very fun. And then they had this big book of gift tags or name tags. And I really love these as well. I love those tags. Uh, I really love this tissue paper. There was red and green and there we are with the gold. Um, I really liked it. I thought it was pretty. But I really love this green one with the Christmas trees that you guys can see. I really thought that was very cute you don't get a whole lot but it is cute tissue paper and then here are some of the gift bags that they had i have a hard time looking at gift bags because when i start looking and digging through i end up knocking all of them off <laughs> the hanger so i finally found the circle box red truck i thought it was really cute um and then they had a bunch of new holiday Christmas cards. You guys, these cards are so cute. This one is my favorite. Oh, I love it. It has the red and black buffalo check and then it has the little station wagon with the car on top and it says there's no place like home for the holidays. They had a unicorn one. They had a bunch of new holiday cards that were very, very pretty. That one was also very pretty. So I'm just going to show you some of the ones that I thought were the, the cutest and that stood out to me. That one was cute. It was actually like velvet. Very fun. I love the ugly Christmas sweater. They just had a lot of different kinds. They were very, very pretty. And I also really love this Christmas tree up at the top that has um, the jewels. That one was really cute too. And then you guys, I found the flashing ornament headbands. Okay, I love these. I think they're so much fun. I've seen some people haul them and I just think they are lots of fun. And then they had the whole front section of my Dollar Tree lined with toys and new stuff for stocking stuffers and Christmas gifts. Um, they still had some Shopkins left. Uh, they had some squishies and then they had these. These were pretty cool. This one's a little van camper pulling a boat. That one's pulling a trailer. They had a ton of new puzzles. I thought this one with the little pug down here was really cool. Thought it was cute. I love how the patch on his eye is in the shape of a heart. I thought that was fun. And then they had like this comic book one that I also thought was really fun. But this one is my favorite. As you guys know, I'm from Utah and that picture is taken in Utah. So they had Hot Wheels. Um, they had a ton of Hot Wheels which is cool because that's a name brand and a lot of the time when you look at little cars at the Dollar Tree they're not Hot Wheels so I thought that was pretty cool um, and now I'm looking at the uh, cookie boxes I think this is a fun way um, if <laughs> if you have to bring some cookies to either um, you know a work Christmas party or something like that or even a family Christmas party just get a Dollar Tree cookie box, put some cookies in it, and we'll make it look more homemade and thoughtful. And that's just how I do things. I really liked those magnets that you see right there. They just had a lot of cute fun and party favors if you're having a Christmas party. Um, they had some new candles. These are all unscented. 
They were very festive and Christmassy. I had a ton of new candles and I loved these candle holders. They were really pretty. So it kind of so on the outside there was red and the inside was gold and then they had these silver with gold and it was like that mercury glass look. I don't know, but they were really pretty. You get two in a package, so that's a really cute deal. And then they had a ton of Christmas mugs. I love the Santa one. And then I found these Wet n Wild nail polishes. Now usually at the Dollar Tree you can find these, but only one comes in a package, so I thought this was a really good deal to find two in a package. And then I found this Palmer's Cocoa Butter Formula Lip Balm. I love that lip balm. It's actually really nice. And I thought it was pretty cool that you can pick it up at the Dollar Tree for only a dollar. And look at all of the new kiss nail stuff they had they had a ton of different colors they had really pretty purples and reds and they had blacks and grays and then light pinks i think those are a good deal for a dollar and then they also had some new sassy and chic nails which i love and my girls love too so it's always a lot of fun to look for new nails at the dollar tree because you go anywhere else like Walmart and you're going to pay anywhere from like $3 for the press on upwards to $8 for the better design nails, I guess you can say. And you guys, look, they had new socks. Oh my gosh, they were so cute. I love the tiger and the little panda bear and the bear. They had an owl and also a unicorn, but these socks were really cute. And I always look at their tote bags and things like that. Um, my kids like them. We use them for dance bags and we use them for church bags if they want to take any of their coloring stuff to church. So we always look at those to see if we can find any new ones. And in the process, I ended up finding this really cute infinity scarf. And I don't know if it's been around for a while, but it was really, really pretty. I just love the white and black stripes with the, that floral. I just feel like that scarf is so pretty. And then here are their drawstring backpacks. I love the mermaid print. I thought that was really fun. And some of their bags just really have some cute sayings on them sometimes. So here are those sequence signs. Um, I didn't haul all of them, so I felt like maybe I needed to show you guys all of the different kinds they had. And so here they are. And they are actually going pretty quick. Here are some candle holders. This was like the only penguin guy that I had seen. <laughs> it was the only one left. I hadn't seen him before and he was just there. And I love those snowflake tea light holders. Now these ornaments were new to me. I actually have not seen these ornaments. I loved the white glittery ornament. And then they had like present ones and the bell ones. And check out these Santa scarves. I thought these were fun. And the cool thing about them is that the bell actually jingles. And they had some really cute aprons. I really like the Santa apron, but they also had this gingerbread man apron, which I thought was really cute, you guys. And then they had these little solar power. I don't even know. I don't know what to call them. They're like little terrarium things and the, they're solar powered so that thing like swings back and forth. I don't know what to call it, but it was really cute. And now I've been seeing people haul these. You guys, these are really pretty candle holders. They have a couple different colors. They have like a silver and gold, um, kind of a rosy gold and then a gold gold. They had this cute one with some berries and pine cone on it Ooh, and then I found that I actually have the other two and I found that last one it was the only one sitting there it was like it came out of nowhere and look at this sign it says walking on sunshine that was new and I couldn't remember if I had seen this canvas before but I thought it was really cute and would actually be really good for a DIY project if you need a canvas to paint on. 
and these stickers were new to me i thought they were really cool you guys they actually look like denim they were really fun now this is me trying to clean up and erase parts of my life <laughs> and then i i found these glass glass paint brushes okay so these are like markers and you can write on your mugs and then you like put them in the oven i thought that was really cool and then they had like these calligraphy style pens really cool they had a bunch of new pencils and now here we are i was looking at some of the bolero they had left over and then check this out april decided to do their own version of the exact since that bolero did um i don't know comment below and let me know if you guys have smelt both of them and which ones you like better the april showers or the bolero i'd be interested to find out these looked really good they were like coconut chips they had a bunch of nine lives if you guys have any cats they had a bunch of cat food nine lives there was a ton and it looked like it would be a pretty good deal they had this these humongous jars. Um, they were really good-sized jars. The only downside is they did not have lids. And here we are, you guys. I finally found these super cute pencil cases. Oh, man. They had the emoji, the Lego. And check this one out. This one is so cute. It has the panda, the donut. They had a camel one, and then they had the let's be mermaid ones you can see all the different kinds here but here it is the let's be mermaid one. Oh my gosh i think it is so cute i wish they would have had a unicorn one but can't always have what you wish for right <laughs> so here i just wanted to look at some of the toys that they had and see if they had any new toys they didn't really have a whole lot of new stuff and they still had some stuff left over I don't know if I showed you guys these Zelda mystery toys. They're like a surprise toy. You can collect all of the characters. I thought that was pretty fun. Never really been into Zelda, but I know a lot of people probably have been. And I actually do know a couple people who still love Dragon Ball Z, so I thought those were really, really cool. They had these really cute piggy banks. A ton of different Barbies to choose from and some Barbie accessories. And then look at these emoji balls. They're like those little novelty, novelty balls with the squishy Orbeez inside. My kids love these things. And they had a bunch of different emoji faces. Very cute. This one's my favorite. <laughs> I love that. And okay, so the Dollar Tree has had these for a while. And I always just look over them. I never really give them a second chance until today I decided to actually look at them. And I cannot believe how cute these are. So these ones are dinosaurs and they're like little squishers and they feel really, they feel really cool, but some of them light up and they are so cute. I love the dinosaurs. I thought those were really fun, but then they had like these little cute monster ones i don't even know but they were adorable some of them lit up some of them didn't this little green guy was one of my favorites and i really like him too oh they i think they're so cute they are so much fun and my kids really 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 like stuff like this so they had a ton of different kinds to choose from So that is pretty much the end of this video, you guys. That is what's new at Dollar Tree. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. I just want to say thank you to everyone who has been subscribing to my channel. I love each and every one of you. If you haven't already, please subscribe and become a member of our YouTube family. We would really appreciate it. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.